I just got some trout magnet Helgramite lures that just came in the mail today and I've been really been wanting to try them out. So I had to rush over here to the creek. Um, I got about an hour to fish, but the water's up, so it's a little murky, but I'm, hopefully I'm gonna try to catch some fish out of this little creek that runs through town. Um, all right, now I got them rigged up. It comes with uh, two of the 164 ounce jig heads and it's pretty long, it's a pretty long little lure. So I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna work. It's real skinny. Um, I've been getting a lot of bites so far, just uh, the few places I've cast in, I haven't caught any fish out of it yet, but um, it's pretty long, so little, little fish aren't gonna be able to get hooked on. So I, I really wanted, I was, when I saw these out, I was like, man, I gotta get these. They look pretty cool. And I like all the stuff Trout Magnet does anyways. So uh, hopefully I'll catch some fish with them today. Oh, oh, yeah, there's one. Oh, he picked it up and took off with it. Okay. All right, so there's my first bass, Kusa bass, which is pretty expected. Out of this creek here, um, the runs through town's got a lot of Kusa bass in it. And wow, he really took that. Easy to unhook. Oh yeah, look at what's inside him. I don't know if you can see it. There's, uh, there's whiskers or something from a crawl dad. Uh, look at his belly, it's kind of full. So this right here is a little bug or something that he would love to eat on. So, all right, so that worked pretty good. Let's see what else I can get out of here. Yeah. When the bass hit it, they don't mess around. They just suck it in and start eating it. This one didn't get it far, quite as far down. I barely, actually, I barely hooked him, but um, I felt him, felt him tug on it and set it. So um, even a little bass like this can get that thing in its mouth. So that's good. I knew there had to one had to be one on those rocks over there. I started reeling it in, and he came and got it. Oh, oh, he came off. That was a decent sized fish. I don't know what it was. You gotta be real sensitive what it seems like when fishing this. Yeah, there he is, he came back for it. Yep, a uh, little Kusa bass. That's what I missed earlier. Came back and hit it again. They're, they're picking it up so far really uh, kind of slow. I don't know if it's just because the water's muddy or what, but they're they're kind of coming up on it, just kind of getting it in their mouth instead of just taking off with it. But um, so you gotta be real sensitive so far. I'm gonna, I got really gotta feel it, uh, feel for them to take it. Oh, that was good. Oh, what's a good one? Hello, buddy. Oh, see. Oh, that's a good kusa bass. On the Helgramite. Well, here they are: the Leland's trout magnet bugs, the Helgramites. These are the large ones. Um, a friend of mine showed me these and uh, he had bought them some at a store somewhere and I looked them up on Amazon, couldn't find them, found them on eBay and bought some and I've looked them up again recently and um, they're only at certain places for sale right now so they're a little bit, I guess they're pretty new but a little bit hard to find. It comes with four of these little Helgramites, they're real skinny and uh, lightweight and two little jig heads. But what you're gonna need to use to fish these is real light line. I was using four pound line and um, definitely couldn't go up from there. Two pound, four pound line. It says to cast them in, just let them drift. And um, I liked them. Uh, they definitely got the bass going. They'd probably work great for smallmouth or trout 
maybe some big trout if you're trying to catch. They worked great for the little bass that I was catching in the creek, and um, I was throwing them on that four pound line. The pole I was using uh, was a little too stiff. You, you definitely need like a, probably an ultralight or a light action to be able to feel the little sensitive bites. You definitely need a sensitive rod to feel uh, the bites from the little fish and stuff that are gonna be hitting it, especially if you're letting it drift, you wanna be able to feel it or use a little bobber, have it go under. I'm pretty pleased with these. Uh, I'm not blown away with them because uh, I would like to be able to catch smaller fish, little bluegill and stuff are biting and pecking at it. But I guess if you're using these, you're not really going for those. But um, I, also they're really lightweight, so you can't use heavier line to throw them with. Um, that's another downside, unless you want to use a bigger hook. But the, the hooks that come with them are just the 164th ounce uh, little jig heads, which I like it. But overall, I'd say it's a pretty good product and uh, worth giving a try.